back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a quick unboxing slash um, book haul. I've ordered some books online, they just arrived and I was really eager to start unboxing so uh, I've unboxed the first box but then I thought hang on maybe I should record a video of me unboxing those boxes. For you guys um, and just to chat quickly through whatever's in the boxes so this is gonna be a very chilled very low-key video as you can see there's, I'm sitting on my comfy chair and I've got my coffee here and in my butter beer mug so let's just chill let's just chat about books without further ado let me start with the unboxing I think I'm just gonna move uh, this whole pile over here to this uh, table here and then just um, start one by one. So the first one I've already unboxed but uh, what's inside is Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. So for those of you who've seen my mash wrap up, uh, I talked about the 13th tale and how I got spoiled, how the whole plot got spoiled for me and that made me want to pick up some more classic books um, just so I can avoid being spoiled in, in the future and also I've been reading so much fantasy and so much modern fiction in general lately that I kind of feel like picking up something older, something, some, some classic books um, so yes, yeah, so I've made this list of I think there's 10 altogether classic books that are on that list uh, and I've got a total of four uh, all right, that arrived with me. So what I want to do is read one classic book each month. And what I wanted to do is to make it a bit more interactive. So I would like you guys to choose that book for me. So uh, I'll show you the pile of the five books that uh, are the potential winners for uh, May. And then you can you can vote. Uh, at the end of this video, I'll I'll just explain a bit more about it. But Pride and Prejudice, this is a probably the most well-known classic book of all time. It's a classical love story between uh, Mr. Darcy and Elizabeth Bennet. So I've actually let me put this away first. So I've actually only read Sense and Sensibility by Jane Austen. I've never read Pride and Prejudice, which I can't believe that I've never read it. All of the classic books that I've got are from uh, the same publisher. So it's Wordsworth Classics, Wordsworth Classics. Uh, it has, it actually has illustrations in it as well. I'm not sure if you can see it. Yeah, there you go. So obviously I've never read this book, so I can't say much about the plot or the characters. But yeah, I'm very much looking forward to reading this soon. So let me put that one here. I don't know if you can see it. Hopefully, you know what, I'm going to move it here. Let's see. Take a sip of my coffee. Alright, so the books I will haul are going to be piled right up here. Okay, moving on to the next box that I've got in here. Let's see. There are two books in here. And there are the two classics that I wanted to read. Um, okay, let's start with this one. So this one is To the Lighthouse by Virginia Woolf. In my latest video, uh, which is books I would love to reread, I talked about how Mrs. Dalloway is one of my favorite books of all time and how I really want to read more of Virginia Woolf. Let me take the box down because it's just uh, here for me. Keep annoying me. So To the Lighthouse is Virginia Woolf's probably the most famous novel. I don't know much about the plot or characters but um, Definitely very much looking forward to diving right in to Virginia Woolf's writing style and the stream of consciousness uh, technique that she's using. 
so definitely very much looking forward to it i really hope that it's gonna be as good or even better as mrs dalloway so that's the second book in this haul i'm actually really sure that i was expecting something a bit longer i think we have 150 which has only 100, about 150 pages and uh, definitely shorter than the previous one but but yeah still very much looking forward to it and the third book of the classics that i've got in here is a portrait of the artist as a young man by james joyce i've been meaning to read ulysses for the longest time and i know that james joyce wrote this book and it's kind of an autobiography of one of the characters that then later appears in Ulysses and apparently it's really good to read this book first uh, before reading Ulysses to kind of get an understanding of that character and the backstory of the character so I think what I really want to do is just read um, portrait of a, a portrait of the artist as a young man such a long title but reading this one and then following it up with Ulysses I know James Joyce is also known for his stream of consciousness writing technique so I would really much like to see how his writing compares to Virginia Woolf's writing and I want to see if they similar or they done in a completely different way and whichever I prefer um, but yeah I would definitely like to read this one and, and see how it goes so that's the third one that I've got all right next up okay next up I've got this big one in here three books in here let me take them out of this box first and then I'll show you I'll show you what I've got in here right finally Jane Eyre Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte it's happening it's happening it's actually much longer than I expected I don't know how much I can tell you about the plot of this book not to spoil you guys but what I will say is this book follows Jane Eyre through her childhood and then adulthood Jane is an orphan Jane is employed by some rich guy um, to take care of his daughter and I know that there's um, the romance starting between Jane and that rich man I don't know the name but between them there's a romance and apparently it's a it's a very atmospherical read and really big character study so I'm very much looking forward to seeing that in this book and actually finding out for myself what I think about this very popular classic so yeah it is definitely happening and it's happening soon <laughs> right so so these are the four classic books that I've got and then apart from that, I've got also some modern um, fiction literature. And the first one being Kristin Hannes, The Great Alone. I know she's a very popular author, especially in the book community, or either on YouTube or uh, Instagram, but she's very popular. I've got actually multiple of her books up on my shelf I've never read anything yet but I think what I want to do is start with this one I heard so many good things about this book even though I don't know much about the plot I know it's set in Alaska and it's a story about two women who are facing their lives up in Alaska it's kind of a survival and love story at the same time I know it's very atmospherical as well I know that Alaska's cold and bare background plays a really important role in this book so I really want to go ahead and see how I like this one okay Kristen Hannah 
And then another book that I've got in here is Where the Crowd Does Sing by Delia Owens. And uh, I know pretty much nothing about this book apart from a lot of people really liked it. But I also heard a fair amount of kind of disappointing reviews as well, just because this book was extremely hype when it first came out. Uh, I don't know when it was, was it, I think sometimes last year, 2018, so two years ago. So when it first came out, there were so many amazing reviews and there was so much hype around this book. And then later on, I started hearing a bit more disappoint disappointing reviews. All I know about this book is that it's a mystery novel. I believe so. Anyways, it has some kind of mystery to it and is set in... Where is it set? And it's set in North Carolina and I know that it's very atmospherical as well, very dark and gloomy and a lot of... and a lot of pressure is put on the environment and the setting of the story as well. So, very much looking forward to reading this one as well and seeing for myself if, if it's worth the hype, if it's really something extraordinary as some people said in their reviews. Right. Okay, moving on to the final box. Um, let me see. This is the final parcel that I've received. Oh, Jesus Christ. That was hard. Uh, but I'm very excited about this book. Some letters. Very, very excited for If We Were Villains by Emma Rio. I know almost nothing about this book. It's a trend in here. I normally don't like to go into books knowing too much about them. So um, every time I'm going to talk about books that I want to read or things that I've just bought you're probably not gonna hear much about the plot but what I know about this book is that is it has some kind of Shakespearean element to it I don't know if it's um, in the plot I don't know if it's a characteristic or if it's the writing style bits I have no idea I know that is a dark academia book also i just read it on the very top bit here on the cover um, and i actually remember someone in some video saying that it is about friends becoming enemies and that is very similar to the secret history by donald tart which i have not read yet it is definitely on my to be read pile uh, hopefully i'll get to it soon i really love the feel of this cover I don't know, you probably can't tell, but it has these ridges in here uh, and you can feel it. Um, so I love this color so much. And there's some dead, dead birds in here as well, which makes me a little sad. But oh well, it is what it is. So that is the seventh and final book of this unboxing slash book haul let me let me show you all of these here we go so these are all the seven books uh, three of them are um, modern fiction and then i've got four classical fiction so with the classical fiction let me put those back up there and now going back to what i said at the beginning of this video is that i want to read <gasps> oh no Oh no! Oh no! Have you guys seen this? <sighs> Just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. Okay, going back to what I said at the beginning of this video is that I want to read a classic book each month and I would like you guys to help me choose which one to go for first. So I'll have a, a little poll section um, available for you guys. So if you are watching it on the computer, you can um, just tap this little eye icon on the very top of the video. If you are on a 
smartphone and you can just tap the screen as if you were trying to pause the video and then that eye icon would appear and then you can place your votes and in the month of May I'm gonna read the book that has the highest amount of votes I think the maximum of your voting um, elements let's call it elements is five so I've got the four that I just received now and I'm gonna add another one to it which I've got here which is a tale of two cities by Charles Dickens so I started reading this one long time ago I think it was about about probably two years ago now uh, I started reading it on audiobook I didn't really get into the story and I thought that probably listening to it on audio was not the best idea because the language is really difficult so I think it's easier for me to understand it when I read it so I purchased a physical copy a long time ago now as well I've uh, been meaning to read it for a long time so I'm just gonna add this one to the pile and this is gonna be another one of the five that you can guys vote for for my next month's TBR so these are the five classical books that you can guys vote for for me to read in the month of May and I will do a May TBR video in which I will reveal which one of those books won Alright guys, this is the end of this very low-key book haul and book unboxing video and hope you enjoyed this different sort of layout as well and uh, let me know in the comments if it works for you. For me, I like both. I think this one is definitely much more chilled and I feel like I'm actually sitting down and talking to a friend rather than being recorded. But again, thank you guys being here for watching my videos and for for your comments they're all amazing and you guys are a very great lot if you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for some more bookish content thank you very much for watching again and i'll see you guys with another video soon bye